there is growing demand for NFTs that are not built on top of Ethereum, including NFTs on Cardano and Solana. And the major reason is because gas fees on Ethereum are extremely expensive. So in this video, we are going to cover Solana NFTs, how to create a wallet, how to fund a wallet and how to interact in the Solana NFT ecosystem. And if this sounds interesting to you, make sure to hit the like button. It really helps support the channel. And with that being said, let's get into the content. Welcome aboard the Bitcoin Express. My name is Chase. Let's get to it. Before we get into the Solana NFT content, a big disclaimer, there is no guarantee that you will be profitable with NFTs, even more so when we're speaking about Solana or Cardano NFTs, being that they're not built on Ethereum. And right now in August of 2021, the action is mostly on Ethereum. However, there is potential for other NFTs on other blockchains to have value in the future. So if you're interested in Solana NFTs and the potential, this video is for you. Now, the first step to buying NFTs is creating an NFT wallet or a wallet that supports NFTs. When it comes to Solana, it is not supported at the moment on MetaMask. So for Solana wallets, there are three main options. There is Soulflare, there is Soleil, and there is Phantom Wallets. And out of all of these three wallets, I prefer Phantom. I think it is the best user experience. And make sure whichever wallet you use that when you go to the website, it is the real site. So soulflare.com, Soleil, or I don't know if it's Soleil or Soleil.io or phantom.app. Because if you go to the wrong site, you might become the victim of a phishing scam and have your crypto stolen from you. So for phantom.app, we're going to create a wallet and it's very similar to creating a MetaMask wallet. You create a wallet, it gives you a 12 word seed phrase. That is your ultimate password. You keep that safe and offline and then you can start interacting. So let's go ahead and create phantom wallet. We're going to add it to Chrome and now we're going to add it to Brave, add extension. And once that's set up, we will create a new wallet. And something I wanna point out here is you can see right here in the top left, Phantom in beta. The Solana ecosystem is very new right now. We're all pretty much beginners in this space. If we go to this other wallet, Soleil, Soleil IO, I still don't know. Same thing, mainnet beta. So we're very new into this ecosystem, right? It has not proven itself yet, but there is potential. So when it comes to this wallet now with Phantom, we're going to create a new wallet. And here is our 12 word seed phrase. This is the ultimate password. Make sure to store this in a safe place offline. Whoever gets access to these 12 words will have access to your wallet. So you're going to copy this. And once you have that saved, okay, I saved it somewhere. And then you will create your password. So we're going to save that. And now it is all ready. So now that we have the wallet ready, we have to fund the wallet. And luckily it's pretty easy to buy Solana on many exchanges. It's pretty much available everywhere. Binance, Binance US, Coinbase, FTX, FTX US, Kraken, Crypto.com and many other places. So once you have your wallet set up, then you're going to send Solana to the wallet. And something I wanna note, very important, is because there are essentially no gas fees on Solana, yes, there are fees, they're basically zero, I definitely would recommend that always sending out or sending a small amount to begin with, maybe send 10 or $20, just to make, your, make sure that you're doing everything correctly. So here is Phantom Wallet in the extension. And when you open the wallet, here is the receive. So I'm gonna select receive send from wallet exchange and this is the address right so i'm going to copy this address whether it's from coinbase kraken finance or any other exchange i'm going to send it to this address and remember do it with a small amount to begin with like i said because the fees are so cheap also if you have an ftx account you can deposit directly from ftx and you can sign in that's another option as well so once you have your wallet set up and funded, now we can actually go into the Solana NFT marketplace and buy Solana NFTs. And right before we get to that, I do wanna say thank you to iTrust Capital, who is today's video sponsor. They are a crypto retirement account and they offer a crypto Roth IRA, where all profits in the account are tax-free as long as it's held in the account until after the age 59 and a half, 
Also, one can trade within the account tax-free as well. And they have a wide selection of cryptocurrency, including Solana, along with many other cryptocurrencies coming soon to Centraland and Tezos. One of the major concerns about a Roth IRA is what if you need the money? Well, with a Roth IRA, a user can take out the initial contributions penalty-free before the age 59 and a half, not the profits, but the initial contributions. However, there are cases where even the profits can be taken out penalty-free for certain expenses, such as a first-time home purchase, certain education expenses, and certain medical expenses. And if you have any questions on iTrust Capital or Crypto Roth IRAs, feel free to message me on Instagram or Twitter. I will do my best to answer your questions. And if you do want to get started, I do have a link down below and you will get your first month free. Now, coming back to the content, once you have your Solana wallet set up and funded, now we can go to the Solana marketplace. And the main place in August of 2021 for Solana NFTs is solanart.io. And you'll notice when you go to the website, it says, welcome to Solanart beta. Warning, Solanart is in beta. Like I said earlier, the Solana ecosystem NFT space is extremely early. A lot of these apps are still in beta. So something important to note. So once we have that set up, we are going to connect our wallet, just like we would do this on Rarible or OpenSea. And I'm going to select Phantom Wallet, Connect Wallet, and then it will ask me allow site to connect. I will select connect and we are in. Now we can start buying Solana NFTs in the aftermarket. And because this is a very new system, we don't have many tools. We don't have anything like rarity tools at the moment in August of 2021 that I know about where we can rank these NFTs by volume and by activity. So for now in these early stages, a lot of it is just manual research. And in terms of very popular Solana NFTs, we saw that Degenerate Apes NFTs put Solana in the top 10. This is a very popular NFT project currently that is on Solana. And if we see in the marketplace with these Degenerate Apes, the floor price is 7.3 Solana. Another popular project at the moment for Solana NFTs is Solpunks. And you'll start to notice that a lot of what we're seeing here in Solana NFTs and really in most NFT ecosystems are copies of what we have seen in Ethereum, projects that were successful. So with this project, Degenerate Apes, they're trying to be the next Bored Ape Yacht Club. These soul punks are trying to be the next crypto punks. And if we go through this market, we'll start to notice there aren't that many projects. I will repeat it again. We're brand new in this Solana ecosystem. A lot of projects are still in beta. And we can almost see everything going on in the market at the moment. However, over time, it is likely the market will become very saturated with projects, just like we see the Ethereum ecosystem is oversaturated with projects. And a lot of these projects are doing the typical, you know, 10, 9, 11,000 NFTs, similar like the CryptoPunks or Board Ape Yacht Clubs, a proven model. We also have some projects that are similar to art blocks, such as Fract, that create generative art or another project such as Abstratica. This is generative art like we have on Ethereum, but here we have it on Solana. And if we go to this website, solana.com ecosystem, I will leave a link down below. You can select on NFTs and you can see some of the NFT projects in the ecosystem. But like I said, it's still such a brand new space that you can pretty much see all of the projects on Solana art. If you go to the home page on Explore and scroll down, you will see most of the projects currently in the Solana NFT ecosystem. What I do like about this website is that at the bottom, they do show some upcoming projects such as Kaiju cards and Bold Badgers. And if we go to the Twitter for these projects, we can see that Kaiju cards actually has a pre-sale today, Friday, August 20th. And this project over here, Bold Badger Squad, will drop in a few days, no specific date. And in terms of buying these NFTs, that is totally up to you. In this video, I am not recommending any NFTs. Anything you decide to purchase is totally your decision. But let's say you do find something that you are interested in, in terms of an upcoming drop, but you don't know the date. It is extremely important, like I said in previous NFT videos, you go to their Twitter or their Discord and make sure to follow. Also hit the bell notification so that you stay updated. Another upcoming project for Solana are Solbits. They are attempting to be the MeBits, but built on Solana, same thing. If you're interested in this project, go ahead to their Twitter, follow, 
and hit the bell notification so that you stay updated. So I wanna repeat one more time. I know I said this maybe, I don't know, four or five times already. This is a brand new ecosystem. A lot of projects are still in beta. Now, in terms of getting started, you will need money. And luckily, because the fees are cheaper than Ethereum, you won't need as much money to start as you would with Ethereum. I said in a previous video to start with Ethereum, you may need 500 to $1,000. This is just to get involved in maybe one, maybe two projects and cover gas fees because gas fees are so expensive. But with Solana, gas fees are basically non-existent. So to get involved with Solana NFTs to begin, I would say you need anywhere from 200 to 500 realistically, because pretty much all you're going to be paying for is the NFT itself, since the gas fees are almost basically zero with Solana. Now, if you wanna learn more about NFTs in general, I have a full NFT playlist in the description down below. Go ahead, check it out. Maybe choose just one or two videos for the day. I am sure that you will learn a lot from those videos. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for listening and I'll see you next time.